in mainland China, facial recognition is a constant presence in people's daily lives. Taking the subway, checking into a hotel, paying bills, and even using public restrooms. But widespread circulation of the data has caused security problems. Recently, Chinese state media reported that online shopping platforms are now publicly selling people's private information along with their photos, all for a mere 50 cents per person. Chinese resident Mr. Li said he was in contact with someone selling that kind of information. He described the amount of data being traded are very concerning. He shared only his last name with us out of fear of retaliation from authorities. There is a guy who sells that information. He can get anything. You just give him a name and he can tell you about his family members and everything. It's quite scary. A lot of such data has been used for criminal activities. According to a Chinese media report, aside from a person's photo, the information pack also includes the person's ID number, bank account details, and cell phone number. Criminals can use that information to steal money from the target's bank accounts or even blackmail them. Another resident, Mr. Wang, complained about authorities' lack of action and refusal to stop the digital fraud. When you say something online that's negative about the government, the police will show up immediately at your door and take you away. But now with so much online fraud, you hardly see the authorities arrest anyone. Last year, a survey by a Beijing research institute showed some 74 percent of Chinese residents don't like to use facial recognition technology to verify their identity. Many cited concerns over their biometric data being hacked or otherwise leaked. The technology has also been used by the Chinese regime to suppress the Uyghur ethnic group in Xinjiang. Last October, the U.S. sanctioned several Chinese companies that develop facial recognition technology. That's after they provided surveillance services to the Chinese police used to persecute Uyghurs. The Chinese regime have used the pandemic to ramp up its surveillance. Reuters reported that as Chinese universities reopen, many colleges have installed facial recognition systems on campus in the name of epidemic control. Students have found cameras inside their dorms and are made to submit information about their detailed movement on campus. Beijing has also been known to sell the technology to other repressive regimes.